So we are MAK Construction, here to present on Smart Bricks. I'm Daniel Kellen, the project engineer, accompanied by Aiden Kelly, our project manager, and Dylan Marshall, our project supervisor. So while we were doing our research over uh, products, we discovered that the design of bricks hasn't really changed since the first patent came out about 75 years ago. And one of the products that we came across was this innovative brick called Smart Bricks, which is developed by an Israeli company called Kite Bricks. Uh, the founder, Rani Zohar, mentioned that he wants to create a product that is easy to use and simple uh, across the entire globe. So a few of the things that we came across with this product were the sustainability, they're being able to be used in areas like Africa, uh, the Middle East, uh, even you know, like in places where climate's really cold. Uh, and also a couple other things that we noticed were the cost and time savings. Uh, the use of these bricks really reduces uh, the amount of skilled labor that you need, as well as uh, the amount of time it takes to install this product. Uh, ease of use, as I mentioned before, it takes out the need of skilled laborers. So you could take somebody off the street and show them how to use this with little to no training and be able to install these bricks on the job site. And then uh, also scalability. Uh, we noticed that you don't have to build just a rectangular structure. You can do anything from uh, college dorms, hospitals, to residential areas, and even low-income housing. So the patent for this uh, product is currently pending in the U.S., uh, but it's designed to be highly insulated. There's insulation within the brick itself, so you cut out the need for insulation, which, should, which I'll talk about later. Uh, the concrete that is used to make these bricks is supposed to be very strong and it's also su supposed to be cheaper than the typical brick. Uh, as I said before, these can be used for a multitude of different projects. So mainly what they're going to be used for, especially here in the United States, are going to be residential areas, uh, buildings such as offices or hospitals, or as this product becomes, you know, more well known, it might even be used for uh, skyscrapers, and then in some street, extreme cases, uh, bridges. Uh, the cost savings with this product, uh, first of all, the use of mortar uh, will not be needed. So what uh, Smartbricks uses is this adhesive. It's uh, similar to the three, the three M VVH double-sided sticky tape. So we won't have to buy uh, bags of uh, quickcrete. So that costs on average about $18 a bag. So that takes out the use of mortar. Uh, and then, as I mentioned before, we won't need experienced labor. So the typical rate for experienced bricklayers in the United States is about $26 an hour. And uh, as I said before, we'll be able to take anybody off the street and because of its ease of use we'll be able to show them how to place them together they're kind of like legos so you know it'll just be stacking one brick on top of the other until your structure is completed uh, the cost of insulation typically there's about 145 to 200 dollars per 500 square feet in our uh in insulation on top of uh an exterior uh structure so whatever you want to add, like fiberglass or drywall, uh, that would be taken out of it. All you would need is the smart brick itself. And then that will save you uh, up to 30% on your energy bill. So as a residential homeowner, uh, smart bricks would be a smart choice to uh, use when building your home. And then up here, as we can see, our traditional brick siding is going to be about two to six dollars per square foot. And then we have different options up here. Uh, so the smart brick is supposed to save you about 50% overall on total expenses uh, in a project, uh, specifically when you're using these bricks. So you know, if it's two to six dollars per square foot for a typical brick, then we could be seeing one to three dollars instead. That's a pretty big difference. All right, so uh, now we're gonna look at time savings, why you'd actually wanna use these uh, bricks on your project, um, include them in your design. So uh, everyone knows about Legos, everyone loves Legos. A big part of Legos are the uh, ease of using them. 
Um, you can stack them on top of each other, um, go build up vertically, you can run horizontally, as well as you can tie in floors and ceilings. Um, that's going to be a big part of this design here. Another crucial part is uh, when we're talking about ease of use and how that's going to save time. So when you're designing this project, whether it be at your design, uh, your design bid firm, you're going to design your project, then we're going to go send this to a company, Kite Bricks, to fabricate these bricks so that by the time they get onto your site, we actually have the dimensions and the quantities of bricks that we need to build your walls, your flooring system, and we can even move on to uh, walls, flooring, and then uh, your ceilings. So we can see up in this top right, there's an image of this uh, automated machine that this is an example of how we're gonna put together or how we can use in the future, how we can put together these projects. But for right now, we're gonna focus on um, the manual labor. But as we can see with these, um, with these pallets, we can actually, when they arrive to site, we can separate different parts of the building at, on the actual layout so that we don't, have, we don't have clutter and they can simply be moved to the spot that you need them for the ease of use that's gonna save some time there. Um, a crucial part of these is we're gonna look at down in this bottom left is the hollowed out compartment that's going to allow for piping and wiring to be ran through. So these pipes that you see running through here, when let's say there's a mistake in your project and uh, we need to do some rework. So we can, we can take a look at these grooves that we're gonna see right here. These are actually panels that are gonna sit and cover this. So the Kite Bricks company is gonna use a vacuum system to put these into place and to remove them. Because of this, we can really easily take out a whole wall system if we need to reroute or redo a set of piping. Because of that, that's going to be huge time saving because we don't have a lot to then replace. So mortar is a big part of this. We're not using mortar. That um, The adhesive that we spoke about earlier, that's going to be used on the top of these bricks to set them together as well as we can use that um, on the side to snap them together as well as overlap them. So because of the no mortar and the ease of the system that they actually have where they snap into place, we don't need as many skilled laborers. Because of this, um, we, are saving, we are saving time and money where we don't need as many laborers, the amount of time that we need to spend training these laborers and the amount of time that they actually spend working on our project itself is going to all, um, all decrease. So we've saved plenty of, now we're saving time and money. And that's gonna be a big crucial part of, uh, of how we're gonna reduce our costs on these projects. All right, so I will be talking about the scalability of these smart bricks. So these can be used on lots of different project types. They can be used in any, any industry you can think of involving construction of buildings, these smart bricks can be used. One place they can be used is the residential housing. These are great for houses because of that extra insulation they received. It makes it cheaper on the homeowner because they won't need to pay as much for their electricity bills because they won't need to use their heat and AC as much. And that's especially helpful for low income housing because they struggle to afford it. But this also can be used in the healthcare industry, building hospitals. This can be used to build emergency ER rooms. It could be used in the hospitality industry, building restaurants. It can help with office spaces. This has a very wide range of uses that these can be used in. And now, heading into the future now, they're starting to use automated machines to help ladies. So one of the most popular machines that lay bricks currently is the Hadrian X machine. So, and the SAM or the semi-automated mason also does the job. These use 3D models that are put into their programming to have the model in the programming and then it applies the adhesive and accurately lays the bricks. I know that the Hadrian X can lay about 200 bricks an hour so that'll help distribute the labor needed for, it'll help get rid of the labor that is needed to lay the bricks and that can be used elsewhere on the project. 
So one big thing about these smart bricks is this concrete pad that you see in that picture over there. It's got the same structure as the actual bricks do. And that is so you can lay the bricks anywhere on that pad. You're able to build exterior walls, interior walls, and you can change them as you go. So one thing about that pad that we do do is we have to, we have a finish that once the walls are all built, we're able to put a smooth concrete finish on top of it that snaps into place. So you're able to apply flooring or anything else that you would like to. So here we have two different styles of buildings that are built using these smart bricks. Over here you can see that we have a lower two-story building and this shows that we can build windows, we can build garages, we can build doors. When we don't need to build just cubes or rectangles that are stacked on top of each other. We're able to make different designs. We're able to have overhangs here, as you can see. And another unique part about these smart bricks is that they come with interior, exterior finishes and roofing. So for the interior and exterior finishes, those are those panels that we brought up earlier that we can take off to fix plumbing, electrical, any piping that goes through the building. And then the roofing snaps on just like all of the other smart bricks using the adhesive and they have finishes also and come at different angles. So you can customize that how you'd like. And those also can be applied using the automated machines we said earlier. And on the other end here, you have a taller building that looks like it's more for office spaces or apartments or something like that. So you're able to build vertical or horizontally using these bricks. And you're able to have a lots of different variety with your buildings when using these. All right, so now we're gonna move on. Let's take a look about sustainability, how we're gonna, how we're gonna have a good impact on our environment moving forward. So when we're actually building, we're gonna have clean and quiet building practices. So this means when we're actually on the construction site from the ground up, the, uh, the construction site is gonna, be, is gonna be cleaner than typically another construction site because the amount of materials that we use are gonna be less and the ease of storage that we have for these is going to take up we can move these into allocated spaces to keep the job site open um not as much to manage moving around also quiet you don't need as much machinery so let's say we're in an urban area where this is really going to play a big part um you're not going to have as many trucks um whether this be cement trucks or just delivery trucks we are going to have some but not as many because we're not having as many trades on site as one time so quiet this is going to be a, another thing that we can uh have an impact for me. So we're looking at the installation of bricks again. So on uh, we did some research and about we found that 60% of construction costs are are correlated to heating and cooling a building. So because of these in the winter we're trapping we're trapping more of that heat and in the summer it's we're letting that flow out. We're gonna have uh, less energy bills, which is gonna be really important for. Uh, moving forward in with fossil fuels and everything and new building. So with the uh, lasting impact in uh, humid areas, so because of the low water absorbs, absorption on the surface of, of these bricks, we can build in different areas, not just looking in the US, but looking internationally, that these bricks were not replacing them as much, so the maintenance and therefore is not as much. And then these bricks, we're gonna be able to recycle, so we all know the impact of recycling and we just want to make sure that what we are building when we whether demolish it or in the future or hopefully we change some stuff we can recycle parts of the building and then so what we're going to look at next is we're just going to kind of wrap up everything here so why do we want these on a project again well because of what we're seeing in cost savings what we're seeing in time savings and how we can really look forward into the future so we kind of went over Bricks haven't really changed. Um, there's a lot of different facets of construction that we're constantly evolving in. And uh, we haven't seen this much in the in bricks in building. So this is gonna build, this is gonna allow for not only better building materials, 
but uh, easier building practices that as we move forward and um, automation and machines come more and more into our building practices, this is something that we can scale. So we can bring this into not just now the purpose of it, but 10, 20, 100 years later, we're still using bricks, but in a, a sustainable way for our planet.